defense, defense, defense. I thought we were outstanding defensively. I said it before the game that was going to be the key, slowing them down. I thought uh, you know it was an excellent, uh, excellent defensive performance, and then everybody contributed. I thought everybody that got on the court, Shabazz, Damari, um, um, Ed, you know, our bench was was really good again. Given the way you guys have been finishing games lately, how has the poise of this basketball team overall improved and developed over this season? Well, I really think our quarterbacks are are doing a much better job. D'Angelo, uh, Shabazz helped out, uh, and 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 Spencer, of course. So, uh, and tonight we needed we needed multiple ball handlers because they, what they do is they turn you over. That's their that's their elite uh, kind of team characteristic, and uh, uh, we felt like we needed multiple ball handlers, and it, it helped tonight. There have been times in the last two years where this team's been more physical than you are. Um, yeah. It looks like that kind of turned a little bit in this game. Brian, that's a, that's a, it's a great point, and I think it's an underestimated uh, uh, kind of thing that, 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 that one of the reasons we've improved a lot. We've improved physically. I mean, you know, D'Angelo, all our young guys, Jared Allen, uh, you know, banging with Gasol, I felt like... You know, in the past, we'd get overwhelmed physically with these players and, and uh, there's those type of players. And tonight, we, we withstood it, and we've withstood it in other games, you know, against older veteran teams. So that's a, that's a big, uh, that's a great point you make. What do you see from D'Angelo just in terms of decision-making yeah. out there tonight? First half was a little shaky. I think all collectively we were shaky, but again, but that's what they do. They they put pressure on you. They're physical, and uh, but I thought in the second half we did a lot better handling it. But D'Angelo made some you know elite passes out there tonight. You know the defense would shift, and the ball was he had Joe in the corner on the on the opposite corner. I I don't know how he saw it, and it, and, and it was a laser, and and uh, you know those are their, those are the type of passes LeBron makes like he just cross court on a line uh, you know he, he it was impressive tonight and also uh, he, he hit Joe on that layup in, in that stretch uh, three tough plays by Joe at the basket then the layup and then uh, and then another score uh, he fed Jarrett after that I'll say if you would maybe list D'Angelo's number one skill I think it's his elite passing skills I think he he sees things other guys don't see he doesn't need a lot of motion to uh, get his passes off and and uh, 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 that is uh, you know tonight he was he showed off all the all the all his passing skills so the fifth straight strong game from Damari um, is he clearly finding his rhythm now huge for us great timing that he's uh, he's he's you know, trending towards being the Demario of last year, and you know, I, th I think uh, you know after his injury and the surgery, this is kind of like the, probably the timeline that's right, you know, for at his age and and how long it, it takes to get back. But uh, credit to him, he put in extra work, uh, uh, a lot of extra work with our performance team and, and getting back, and, and uh, he's starting to uh, reap the benefits. What's the cat? Yeah. I'm sorry, What's the catalyst for a team learning to embrace physicality? What's the catalyst? I think having vets to embrace it. I think Jared Dudley and 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 uh, Ed Davis and Damari, you know, they they kind of show you the show show our young guys the tricks of the trade. And then I think like you know Brian's point, I think we've gotten stronger. I think we physically have gotten stronger. I think it's a, com a complete credit to our performance team. Those guys are with those they're with the performance team more than they're with the coaches, you know. And so. Uh, I, I, I've seen definite improvement there. Does Damari give you, I mean, you mentioned Dudley and you mentioned Damari both in that. Um, does the way Damari's playing now kind of give you thoughts about power forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think uh, we played him at the four tonight, even though uh, uh, they were big. And we, we, you know, Damari's got a lot of, we can't play him there 40 minutes. But I think that's part of his package being our, our small ball four. He, he did it for us last year. It's not his ideal position. But uh, obviously, he gets more shots at the four because teams suck in off him. Four men on the other team suck in him. So he gets some, I thought he got a bunch of open shots when he was at the four tonight. From a coaching perspective, the depth that you have and the veterans that you have, how does it make it easier on you as a coach over those first two seasons? I mean, the options that you have now. So even at the end of the game there, you know, Jared Dudley giving little tips to the guys and, you know, even, you know, the side out of bounds we had, telling them, hey, we got to run this with pace, leave early. You know, he's giving all the tips. He's reiterating what the coaches are saying and, and, and you know, the, the coaches, I think they have one year, you know, listening with when it's a, a veteran player with, with credibility, they, you know, uh, they really uh, listen. So it's, it's just, just huge. But just the, the level of skill, too. I mean, 
what are you, what are you looking at now when you put together your rotations in specific situations and late game situations? It seems like you have so much more to work with. De definitely, and I think IQ. You know, are they they add a collective IQ. Those guys and experience, and and I think that's helping our young guy. I think it's helping Jared Allen. I think it's helping D'Angelo. Uh, before those guys were kind of on an island, uh, uh, and like I've said before, those they're actually out there on the floor with them. That's not like they're 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 talking from the locker room or the bench. That's that's huge. All right, guys. Can, can I ask just one, yes. one quick one? You're you're at 19 wins right now. Uh, the next game is a halfway point. I mean, it seems like a world of difference uh, between this year and the last two years. Do you feel like you've taken a major step at this point of the season? I wouldn't say major. I think we've taken a step. I, I still think it's too early. I still think, you know, let's have this conversation. Uh, you know, we got that. I'm thinking of that 18-game road trip or 18-day road trip we have. And, in, in, you know, I, I, I have the fear of, of the NBA schedule. So uh, let's, let's just, you know, continue to take it one at a time and, and improve, you know, it, it, it'd be good to get greedy and, and, and get to get the Chicago game. Thanks, everybody.